Good evening, everybody. This is Adam Vore, Vice President of the Citizens Committee for Restructured Government, www.ccrg.info, once again with the CCRG News Roundup for August 25th, 2012. Um, it's nice to be back. Haven't done one of these in a while. We're going to do a special uh, version today. I have some people over, so if I'm talking kind of low, I apologize. Uh, if you just turn up the volume, you'll hear me, no, hear me no problem. So if you hear some noise in the background, just don't pay attention to it. Anyway, we're just going to do, um, like I have a couple of Facebook posts that people post a lot, and I wanted to put a couple of positive messages together with the truth of the world and what's going on. So um, I'm going to try and do that a little bit more like that. It's much easier for me because then I have to go through all the videos and I have to make sure everything's up and up. And there's a lot of negativity out there, so I'd kind of like to just bring the pictures and then explain to you, you know, in that format. So there won't be any links to any news articles at the end of this uh, video today. So anyway, let's get, let's get going. All right, this first article is important. Um, for those of you who don't know, like when you eat this kind of candy, you see like these gummy bears and these jelly fruits, it's gelatin, all right? There's a, gel a natural gelatin that is found in seaweed that's called carrageenan, and it basically becomes a gel gelatinous substance if you you know cook it right in the right temperature, and you can actually make seaweed pudding with milk and chocolate powder and uh, you know seaweed. I made, I made it in science class when I was in high school one time. But the bottom line here is these candies are made with animal bones, okay? All the bones of the animal. You're eating animal bones. And a lot of people think, how do you get from a bone to that? Because they break down the bone, they grind it down to a powder, and then once they grind it down to a powder, they, you know, mix it with a chemical or mix it with some other stuff or with some sugar, and it becomes gelatinous like that. So this is bone. That's bone, right? Don't eat these things anymore. Unless they're organic and they're natural and they come from vegetable-based gelatin, which does exist. All right. If you believe that this is natural, then your eyes are not open. See, this is a cow that is obviously injected with hormones, RBST most likely, and some other stuff as well, probably a whole cocktail. But they make their udders huge so they produce more milk. And look at that cow. The cow is – it's got so much weight on it. You can see the rib cage. You know, it's it's really, you should not be drinking milk. You should not be eating cheese, any type of cheese. The way they make cheese is they take rennet, which is um, stomach acid from baby cows, from calves, and they mix that rennet with the curds and whey from the milk, and that's what, you know, it ferments and it turns into cheese. And that's how you, your cheese comes from. So I highly recommend everybody start going vegetarian as soon as possible. Very, very important. Uh... All the meat is contaminated, in my opinion, whether it be organic or natural. There's too much chemtrails in the sky. I'm sure you all know about the chemtrails. And um, it's just not good to eat meat right now. We need You need to spiritually evolve as a human being and an individual. And you need to start eating more fruits and vegetables, organic, and wash them as best as you can. There's natural washing techniques that you can use. This uh, is a very sad picture to me, of uh, hopefully all of you too. Uh, this is in Duma after the massacre today. Okay. Um, you know, this is, I believe, over in Syria. And uh, it's just, this is what's going on right now, guys. So when you get home from work and you go, oh, I'm so tired and, you know, I had such a hard day. Or, oh, you know, I don't get anything I want. Or, oh, it's not fair. Or anything like that. These people are dead now. All right? Innocent people just minding their own business, getting you know, getting massacred by, you know, both sides. And they're stuck in the crossfire. All right? And that's what's going on right now. Um, this general spoke, and basically what he says is, you know, what the you know what does the government intend to shoot? Because lately the government's been really, really purchasing a lot of ammunition. Um, I've seen a couple of Facebook posts and a couple of news articles as well that say that, uh, like you know, the Department of Homeland Security ordered 300 million rounds, or the, the other, I think the not the FBI, but there was another. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, FDA and the um, the IRS. Why is the IRS? ordering bullets. So all these different government agencies are ordering millions and millions of rounds of ammunition. I wonder why. All right, you have to ask yourself that question. Now, he says, all of these rounds of ammunition can only be used to kill American citizens, though there is enough ammunition being ordered to kill in addition to every American citizen, also every Iranian, Syrian, or Mexican. So that's a lot of people that they're able to kill with all those bullets. What the frick are they doing? With all those bullets, hmm, you need to ask yourself this question. There is simply too much of it. 
and this much ammunition can't be just for training. There aren't that many weapons and shooters in the U.S. to fire it. All right? Wake up, people. You know, they're getting ready to kill you. They're getting ready to shoot you in the head. They're getting ready to kill you and say it was all in the name of democracy. All right? It's coming. It's going to happen. I mean, you know, it's, it's going to happen soon, and you guys really need to get on top of your faith, and you need to really get back to God and Christ, because it's really the only chance that any of us have. Now, this one did blow my mind, as it did. Um, there's another comment that someone made. This blew my mind over there, but this kind of blew my mind. Uh, this is a picture from the Mars rover 2012, okay? And this is Star Wars 1977. How did they get that picture? This is, this is a picture from Mars, supposedly. So how did they get that picture from here? I'm, I could be wrong. Weird things have happened. I know they have stargates. They can travel between planets. I know they've got ships. I know they got that stuff already. They can lie to you all you want, but I know it's, it exists. Um, but the bottom line here is uh, maybe Star Wars was originally filmed on Mars. Just saying. Could be. You never know. <laughs> just throwing it out there. But um, they could also just be put superimposed in the background. But it's, very, it's too close to similar. And they didn't have a picture from the ground of Mars looking out. You know what I mean? They didn't have that back, you know, and how would they get that? So they must have been there, or they must be there right now. Now this one is uh, the Tampa Bay is police getting ready for the the Republican National Convention. There looks like there might be a riot of some sort. They're going to instigate something. You know, could something could happen, something could not happen. Either way, I pray nothing does happen so it doesn't give them any more power to declare martial law, and I think you should pray the same. Um, but the bottom line here is they're, like, expecting riots. They're expecting problems at the RNC. So keep an eye on that. That's going to be coming, I believe, this coming weekend. All right, this is uh, Dole. I'm sure you know Dole, bananas, Dole, fruit and vegetables. Now, the reason why that skull is there um, is because this gentleman... As you know, actually, I read it for you. It's much easier. No more Dole products for me, never, ever. Watched the documentary today, and it got my blood boiling, just as banks do. The film that stood up to banana giant Dole over pesticide poisoning and won by Tom Levitt, 14th March, 2011. The documentary Bananas highlighted the plight of Nicaraguan banana plantation workers who brought a legal case in the U.S. against the use of a banned pesticide, DBCP, by the Dole Food Company. All right, so Dole uses all the banned pesticides that are technically banned and they use them outside the country where they grow their fruit products that's not right so um bottom line here is don't order or um, don't pick up any more dole products stay away from them totally 100 percent toxic it's just one more thing to scratch off the list now i'm going to end with this today and uh well actually i'm going to have another message after this but um buddha said holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Now, what that means is when you're angry at somebody, you're literally taking in poison and you're wishing bad things about them, but you're the one that's you're the one that's having a bad life. You're the one that's being attacked. I'll give you an example. Um, for years, I had problems with a particular family member. Um, well, it was one of my siblings, and my mother and father would always take care of this particular sibling. This particular sibling could go to the bathroom over anything, can urinate all over the floor, can leave dishes in the sink, can leave a mess, not clean up after himself for any reason, being 26 years old that he is. And um, he gets taken care of. They give him the other house outside, you know, in a different state. They give him this, they give him that. So it's like he just continuously you know, destroys everything around him and he keeps getting rewarded and I'm getting the shaft basically because I go with Jesus Christ and um, they don't understand God in my house apparently so I'm always like wrong when I'm right I'm sure a lot of you know what that's like you're you are 100% right and you're talking to somebody and they will tell you, no, you're wrong, you're wrong you're like, no, I'm right and then when you prove that you're right they tell you, shut up, I don't want to hear you go away and they just shut down so it's like, yeah, you all know what I'm going through you, all, I, you probably go through the same thing but um, what I'm going to leave off with is, you know, forgive everybody. You can't blame anybody. Everybody has faults. You need to forgive. Remember Jesus Christ said, how many times should I forgive my brother? 77 times 7. Meaning, keep forgiving. Don't stop. Okay? Always forgive. And most importantly, most, most importantly, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Always say thank you. Practice this. Say thank you constantly throughout the day. And it'll start to develop in your mind and your subconscious, and you will actually become thankful, and great things will be pulled towards you. I'm doing that. It works great. 
and uh, through amidst of all the um, bad stuff that happens, it keeps you on your toes. And also, don't forget to talk to God. God wants to hear what you have to say. God really does care about you, whether you believe it or not. You know, oh, God doesn't exist. I don't believe. No, God does love you. He wants you to talk to him. He wants as many people to talk to him. But that's between you and God. And God wants a personal relationship with you. Don't forget that. Our Lord, Jesus Christ, wants a personal relationship with us individually. Okay? So don't be afraid to pray. And I'm, I'm going to lead off with, you know, it's getting closer, people, you know. It's getting closer to the end. I don't know if the world's going to end. I don't know what's going to happen. But bottom line here is things are getting worse out there. Um, some things are getting better, but there is resistance. But I don't know what's going to happen. But bottom line, always keep your faith. Always do the right thing. If you can or know anybody that can bless us with a donation so we can take care of business. Because remember... We at the CCRG have an outstanding challenge. If any organization or person has more solutions to the problems plaguing the world than us, we will resign and we will join them. And for the past 12 years, no one's ever challenged us. All we want is a public forum to say, this is what we want to do. Do you agree that this is the best plan? Let's do it. And we're kept in the, you know, we're kept in the dark. We're not really well known because if we get well known, things will get done. So please help us, you know, not, don't just help us, help us to help the world. This is a message from Adam Vorner, Vice President of the CCRG.info. God bless you all. Take care. And um, I'll make more videos soon. Again, I ask for your forgiveness. I've just been very tired lately. And um, a lot of things happening in my life trying to survive. You know the deal. But God bless you all. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.